Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to draw some orchids. There are a wide variety of orchids out there, but I'm going to be drawing the most common variety with the central petal and five surrounding petals. Our supplies used for this tutorial are Prismacolor pencils and Strathmore 400 series Smooth Bristol. The colors are listed below in the description. I'm starting off with an outline as usual. As you can see, I have already drew a branch using a few pencil lines. Now I am going to draw some flowers on them. These flowers have a central petal pointing downwards. So I will draw it first. It is fairly small compared to other petals but it is oddly shaped with a scalloping edge. Then there are two large petals on each side. We can draw them easily using a pear shape. When drawing these petals you have to consider the direction of the flower also. When we are looking straight at them, we can draw them easily with two similar petals on each side. But most of the time, we will have to adjust the shape according to the flower position. Drawing using a reference can make things easier. After drawing these two petals, there are three more petals behind them. They are usually narrow and has a pointy tip. You have to adjust their shape according to the position of the flower too. And for the flower buds, you can use a similar pear shape. You can download the completed outline from the link given below if you want, but I recommend drawing it yourself. Now we can start coloring the flowers. To make it simple, I am only using a few colors here. You don't have to use the exact colors I am using. You can just pick a similar color from your preferred brand of pencils. Here I am starting off with the stalk using some pico green and dark gray. Here the stalk is mostly away from the light because of the flowers. So I am using 90% cool gray to darken that green. We can burnish it later to make the edges clean. Now I am drawing the central part of the flower. It is mostly consists of the colors magenta, dark purple and yellow. Just use some magenta and dark purple towards the center and yellow towards the periphery and you are good to go. Now we'll use the color hot pink for drawing the other petals. These petals are mostly pink but it has some white areas as well. So I'll just use hot pink as the base color and then we can use a white pencil for the lighter areas. These petals are pinkish towards the periphery and whitish towards the center. So use more layers of pink towards the periphery and less towards the center. You can even use some magenta for the really dark areas. I am mostly using layering method I mentioned in my blending tutorial for this part. You can watch it from the card above if you haven't watched it already.
After drawing all the petals, you can now start burnishing it with a white pencil. For that you just have to use a white pencil and blend the colors with some pressure. These petals are having a central white area and pink color towards the periphery. But it is also having a thin line of white near the edge of the petals. We can draw it using a white pencil by applying some pressure. This way you can complete all the petals. Just try to make it as smooth as possible. For the buds, I am using some yellowish brown colors. Here I am using the color Artichoke from Prismacolor. You can also mix some pinks and grays for making it a bit more natural. Now we have almost finished the drawing but right now it looks very flat. For making the drawing a bit more natural we have to draw the shadows as well. For drawing the shadows I am using 30% and 50% French grays. You should use a sharp point always and use the layering method to draw the shadows. First you have to draw a base coat using 30% French grey. Then you can gradually layer with the same color so as to get a gradation of color from darker to lighter. Darker color should be towards the flowers. You can use 50% French grey to make it even darker. Notice that flowers near the wall has a small shadow and the flowers farther away from the wall has a large and diffuse shadow. Also notice that the light here is coming from upside. This way you can draw the remaining shadows as well.
So this is the final drawing after drawing all the shadows. This drawing was very simple but very rewarding at the same time. You can easily try this drawing on your own. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more art videos, tutorials and reviews. And you can follow me on all social media linked below.